Okay, folks, well, I had my first live event, and everything went fairly smoothly until the end. And I actually screwed up the ending pretty badly. The ending turned out to, uh, well, it was about 20 minutes short. I cut it off 20 minutes short. Not on purpose, but uh, by accident. And I want to show you what I did and how, how you can avoid it. So I'm going to schedule a new event really quickly here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So first off, I'm going to do uh, correct ending. And for right now, I'm just going to make this private. And I'm going to come in here and change the time to about this time. I can even add end time if I want. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just quickly making my event, and uh, then I'm going to get my bit rate. And if you've seen me uh, setting up the recording, then if you've already saw that video, you've already seen all this, so I'm just going to kind of fly right through it. I'm going to get my profile, and these are all the steps that we need to do to start the encoding. Now, what I did was, I want to show you this, I made a slate. Let me bring it up really quickly here. I made a slate. The end. Okay, so that indicates that I am done with my broadcast. Now the interesting thing is, let me open up my encoder, and I'm going to get my profile, open the profile, I'm going to choose my profile, open it, I'm going to get that error, that's okay. I'm going to readjust my screen here in Flash Media Live Encoder. And so we have this going on here. So that's good. So I'm going to click Start right now. And that's doing its thing. I'm going to go to the Live Control Room. It's going to receive my encoder settings in just a second. And once that catches up, we can get started. So here's the thing. Uh, once the encoder sees everything. You get everything. You get it started. You start previewing. You then go live, and and then you do your regular presentation, just like anybody would. Okay, so now I have my stream going. I'm watching it on my watch page, and let's say I want to finish. Let's say I am done. Well, there's a couple options here. You can click stop on your encoder but then that stops everything and then YouTube doesn't get a signal anymore. You can click stop in your live control room, but that stops the whole entire uh, stream and that ends the that ends the video wherever you whenever you clicked stop streaming. So if you click stop streaming, now remember your video is on a delay, so it's it's behind by by about 30 seconds to a minute. The longer you go, it feels like it gets even longer. So I did an hour-long event, and I was about 15 to 20 minutes behind by the time I got through that whole 50 minutes. And um, so if I wanted to finish, I can't click stop. And I can't click stop because nobody, everybody will be missing out on the content. Even though I know I did it, they won't be able to see it on the screen. So what do you do? Well, I found a, I got a workaround for it, and so far this is all we can do. Um, all I can do anyway. What I'm going to do is I am going to, I have a slate. I have an open slate, and I have an end slate. Let me get to that end slate. There it is, the end. So I'm going to actually put this on the screen. And then I'm going to watch my watch page. So I'm going to put on my watch page. And then I have to just sit and wait till it gets to the end. In my opinion, that's kind of stupid. So I have to sit and watch what I just did until I see the slate come up. So I just got to sit here and watch and wait. And so I put my microphone on mute. And then when I finally see this slate come up, then I can click 
stop streaming. Hold on. I can click stop streaming. Okay, so I've come to the end of my event. I've watched the event, so I've gotten to the end of that. And now I can finally uh, finish up by clicking stop streaming. So I'm going to click stop streaming. And a box comes up. Are you sure you want to stop? Yes, I want to stop. Now I can click stop on my encoder. And then in the YouTube side of things, I can go to my video manager, go to my live events, look at my completed live events, and watch this. And it'll be recorded for me. I can click stop streaming. All right, so if there's any better way, let me know. And there we go. Now I can close it up, and that's it. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.